Hello guys again, um, before you say anything, yes, this is the same cloth because I'm recording it the same day. I'm gonna start receiving comments, oh, he always use and uh, wears the same clothing. No, no, this is the same day. This is the third video that I'm preparing today uh, for uh, cables. So let's solve it and let's see what is gonna happen. So we have this uh, particular cable and this is an example that is really, really, really easy if you want it, it to be easy and it could be really long if you wanted it to be long. For example, let's say that I want to start this problem and the first thing I always do is try to read the statement and see what the problem is asking. Determine reactions at the supports. The reactions at the supports. That's one of them. The magnitude of the cable sag at B, the sag at B and E. The magnitude of the tension force in each segment of the cable. So all tension forces and the total length of the cable okay perfect so if we have to do all of that you might choose to start with any method that you want to start however think smart whenever you see this type of a uh, structure that is symmetric when I say symmetric I'm talking about loads and geometry both of them this is one of our unknowns by the way H and D and H at E. So you can calculate the reactions. You know the reactions here, we have discussed that before. And then you're going to have these AY and these AX. And this is going to be FY and this is going to be FX. So if I want to calculate the reactions, I can start by saying, okay, let's do summation of forces here for saying something. And we can do that. Summation of forces here equals zero. Uh, summation of moments, I'm sorry. Summation of moments at F equals zero. I can do that. And I'm going to do it from here to here. So X is passing through the point. So I'm going to have negative AY, negative AY times the total distance, which is 100. It says here, every one of these is 20. Then I'm going to have this 30 multiply by 80 and this 30 multiply by 60 and this 30 multiply by 40 and this 30 multiply by 20 equals 0 and then you can solve for ay which is going to be equals to 60 keep And then you can do summation of forces in y equals zero and says okay ay minus 30 minus 30 minus 30 minus 30 plus uh, fy equals zero put this into here and solve for fy equals 60 and we just wasted some time of our life that we're not gonna get back no matter what we do because if everything is symmetric, perfectly symmetric, geometry, loading, everything, I could have said, listen, 30 plus 30, 60 plus 9, 30, 90 plus 30, 120 divided by 2. This takes 60 and this takes 60. How easy would that be? But of course, that, that comes after practicing and after you get a little bit of experience in what you are doing. Always look for symmetry. Always look for symmetry. Symmetry is very important and very powerful thing to use. Now, one of the questions is, once we have that, you can say, oh, but we cannot do anything because how am I gonna do the rest? I only have the horizontal, the vertical, then the horizontal is zero because uh, it's not there. Uh, you have no idea how many times I received that type of comments and I despise it. Oh, because I don't hear anything and then there's no horizontal force, then AX and FX is zero. No, this is not true. What is true is that AX is equal to FX, but they are not zero. How are they going to be zero? They shouldn't be zero by starters. Okay, there are very creative ways that you can do that. I'm going to show you the list of the creative ways. But Let's say that I, I'm going to start at C now, and I'm going to do a moment at C. And I'm going to use this side of the cut. So basically what I'm doing is this. I'm cutting it here and I'm applying moment from this side to that part. 
And if I do that, then you're going to get AX, positive AX, multiplied by this height, which is 24. And then you have minus AY multiplied by 40. But AY, remember, we calculated as 60 before. And then I have 30, positive 30, times 20. And that is, has to be equal to 0 because there's nothing else. So when I solve for AX here, equals 75 uh, keep. Now, one of the questions is determine reactions and the supports. Don't. AX, 75 equal to fx, ay 60 equal to fy. Done. We have the reactions. Now, we need to find this hb, which by the way, if everything is symmetric, hb has to be equal to ag, because everything is symmetric. So how can we do that? Look, if we do moment here, summation of moments at b equals 0, here, then you have AX multiplied by this height. I'm using this side again. I'm doing moment and I'm using this side. So AX multiplied by HB minus AY multiplied by 20 equals 0. I know AY. So I can solve for a, an AX, so I can solve for HB. HB is going to be equal to 20 times 60 divided by 75, and that's going to be 16 feet. 16 feet. So you already have this and this, same value. What else? We need the tension, tension in the cables, OK? By the way, by calculating this, AY and FY, I already have this tension. I don't have to do anything else. Because this tension here has to be the, the combination of these two reactions here in the cable. Remember, this is, a, this is a cable. The reaction goes in the direction of the cable. So then this value here is called TAB. And if you want to know how much is TAB, well, then you can calculate it. TAB is uh, the square root of, I didn't calculate that before, I think, but let's say TAB is the square root of 60 squared plus 75 squared. 60 and 75 are these values here. Um, that value is 16 squared plus 75 square, square root, 96.04. Yeah. I don't remember doing that before. So I don't know if I'm, I'm giving you false results, but I don't think so. So we have that value over there, 96.04 kip. So we have this one. Now we need this one and that one. Okay, let's try first this one. I don't know if I tell you the, the end of the story first or calculate it. No, let's do the brute force first. Let's calculate it. Like I don't know the answer. So let's calculate it. How can you calculate this value here? Well, there are plenty of ways. Once again, you can go join by join because you have everything. You can do this join and calculate this. You can do this join and calculate that. But there are also ways of solving the problem without doing that. And that's what I'm trying to show you. What if I make a section here, A, A? And then I do summation of moments at this point, summation of moments at A, just of the section. If I do the section, I'm going to have in this side this force and this force, like that. I can do that. And I can say summation of moments at A equals 0. And I can do that. And then I have 30 times 20 and 30 times 40 negative plus this one which is TCD 
times 24 equals 0 and then you can get TCD as 75 kip. And why did I do that? I don't even know because if you realize in the same section like you did like, like that ah, in the same section when I did that before instead of doing that moment I could have said summation of forces in x equals 0 and then you have negative AX plus TCD equals 0 and I could have calculated directly here 75 and this is the same value and why did I do that? I didn't even have to do that because if you know that in the cable only subject to vertical loads the horizontal component is always constant then this is horizontal because it's there right you can see it so the value of this has to be the same value of the horizontal component over there just by saying it and stating that part so now we have that and the last part or the only tension that we are missing is this one TVC so I'm going to do the analysis of that joint over there if I do the analysis of that joint joint C then you have this force which is TCD which is 75 and then I have this force which I don't know what the force is TVC that one and what else do I need to um, and then I have this force here which is 30 and I have to calculate TVC now you can get this problem and you start this problem like you do any regular problem and say oh I'm gonna calculate that angle alpha and then this is gonna be summation of forces and then summation of forces I do that or you can just realize one more time that if you have the an inclined load like that and you have two horizontal forces or one horizontal and one vertical force like that the same thing that happened here when I told you this one is this square plus this square same thing is going to happen here so I can say that TVC is the square root of 75 square plus 30 square and that will be 80.78 Okay. All the tensions calculated. S slag of the slag of the cable calculated. The only thing that we haven't done is the total length of the cable. Uh, the total length of the cable. I mean, it's not complicated. It's gonna be this part, which is the same as this one, and this one, which is the same as this one, and this one here. So you can find first this part. What is the length of that part? The total length is going to be this hypotenuse. So it's going to be square root of 20 square, 20 square plus 16 square. That's going to give you the length AB equals length EF. So it's going to be multiplied by 2. Now let's check this other part here plus this is going to be the length BC and length length BC equals length DE and so it's going to be two times for the same reason a square root of what a square root of this which is 20 square plus this how much is this well if this is 24 and this one here was 8 this is 24 and this was 16 this part here is 8 so plus 8 squared um, plus this one 20. so the total length of the cable is whatever that's it uh, 400 plus 256 to the point 5 multiplied by 2 plus 20 plus 2 times uh, 400, 464 to the point 5 and 
this is uh, something weird because I didn't do it by parts. Uh, I don't know what happened here. I put a number wrong, and the number wrong should be here. Let me see again. Uh, this part here, 400 plus 256. 656 divided by 2. This is going to be 51.22 feet. The other one here is going to be 464. It's going to be 43.08. Already multiplied by 2 plus 20. Plus 20 plus 51. 122 plus and that's 114.3 feet and that's it for this part it was just geometry we didn't do we didn't need to do anything extraordinary over there so I hope you like this one I'm gonna try to solve another one uh, in cables in this series and I'm gonna after that I'm gonna try to jump into the cables with distributed loading See you next video guys, thank you for watching and keep watching.